हेलो सताल नमस्कार वेलकम टू माई किचन ऑन टूडे शो वी विल बी मेकिंग रेस्टोरेंट फेवरेट इंडियन मील एंड गैस वॉट वट डू वी हैव स्पेशल फॉर यू टूडे इट इज एवरी वन फेवरेट बटर चिकन सो खाम ऑन एन लेट्स कुक यू आर इन द किचन विद शेफ जसजीत now we are going to start with our ingredients for today's recipe and that is butter chicken so what do i need what do you think hmm okay i think i just need this butter and i need chicken butter chicken no no i'm just kidding not just this we have lots of ingredients that goes in the butter chicken this is just one of the keys yes butter is essential because without butter we can make butter chicken but i'm going to talk about the ingredients that's going to go in it so here are our ingredients that i'm going to be using make sure you note this down because butter chicken i know any time i talk to anyone and i've taught for so many years everyone's favorite they just want the recipe you just need to have one good recipe and then you know what people are going to tell you that this is actually world's best butter chicken that is what i get to hear all the time so let's get to the ingredients so what i do is i add uh, this is tadka tadka is where i have cooked onions in ghee or oil you can use any i use ghee uh, so that and then also it lasts you longer like you don't have to start you know with butter chicken sometimes we feel there are so many ingredients right when you read the list of uh, the ingredients it's actually not that much when you start to do it you will start to see every little bit of it will add flavor so tadka is essential make sure you make this ahead of time and then you can use it in other curries as well also you can have cashews added to it cashews you can these are just the raw cashews but you can put some water in it and then let it sit for 5 minutes just churn it up in a food processor and make a nice pasty uh for cashews like it should be a paste also you have here whipping cream yes it's important we cannot make butter chicken without whipping cream i have some chilies green chilies that's going to add that spicy kick to butter chicken i also have important ingredient which is kasuri methi now kasuri methi is dried fenugreek leaves and this is actually a big secret of my butter chicken because i cannot make butter chicken without kasuri methi also i have some uh, garlic and ginger paste uh, again you can use just the store bought one or you can just make your own as well i made my own some cilantro to go at the end and then from the spice box we will be using a uh, little red chili powder turmeric garam masala these are and then of course little salt but one and chicken of course we cannot forget chicken <laughs> and then here so instead of tomatoes i am using this sauce butter chicken sauce and you know sometimes you don't have time you just want something quick you come home after a big long day of work and there is nothing made why not just open up so make sure you keep some of those handy but all sauces doesn't work sometimes i feel all sauces have the same taste as well uh, and then i have to add my own uh, you know little add ons as a chef i do that always but this is today we are going to test this and see how it is also i didn't mention that to you when we just met i just said we are making butter chicken today of course we'll have butter chicken with some sides as well I am going to do a little fusion on butter chicken. There's lot of things I can do actually, 
but the main one that's going to resonate for long long time that is going to be butter chicken poutine so we are going to serve that at the end but right now you have a lot of work to do with me in my kitchen when we go and we cook this on the stove top we are going to take a short break but when we come back we are going to start cooking you are in the kitchen with chef chesty welcome back you are in the kitchen with chef chesjeet and now it's the time to cook the butter chicken sauce butter chicken sauce is the most important part you need to understand that when you are cooking chicken you need to understand the steps of it and that's what i'm going to go through with you uh some things like cashews i'm going to be using it as a garnish because the butter chicken sauce that i'm using itself has everything in it but still as a chef i need to do my own part as well i have to tell you the real recipe of butter chicken and then at the time you don't have time you will be using this sauce right so you will have both the methods so normally butter chicken is made um using actually tandoori chicken when this whole butter chicken big started to become so popular right in britishers ways or any 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 ways where we see the origin of this recipe coming from what it was the butter chicken was actually uh made out of tandoori chicken so you will have some leftover tandoori chicken so some chef might have thought okay what do i do with tandoori chicken i'm not in a mood for tandoori chicken so he or she might have at that point invented this so that is how it's done so but today i am not uh making tandoori chicken tandoori rather than making tandoori i'm just going to because the sauce has the flavors i am going to start but this is how i would start making the butter chicken from scratch so just make sure you follow each step it's important as i said so now butter chicken needs to have butter and when i am adding butter for butter chicken yes you have to just keep going so as much as i feel that this is going to be good for my recipe i'm going to add but normally if i'm making uh, butter chicken and it's like 4 pounds butter chicken almost almost 1 cup 1 cup of butter will go in salted unsalted it does not matter use whatever you have so let's put the butter at the hand now also i just want to also mention that when you are doing recipe that is your recipe and you're not using any store bought sauces or so at that point we do want to have some more flavors to it right so make sure just add two of uh these cardamoms green cardamoms and cloves just that's all we are adding at the beginning and why we do this at the beginning because th these are whole spices the flavor of the whole spices will be really enriching the butter chicken sauce as well so that's why we add whole spices at the beginning of our cooking of the recipe and then our powdered spices will follow later once we add all the ingredients in it so just open because flavor is intact in that cardamom so those black seeds we need to see those so you would open just open it up with mortar and pestle and that's good um now i'm done with this so what i'm going to do this is how i start so here is garlic and ginger paste now i don't know if you've noticed if you go to restaurants because we are talking today about restaurant meals right um and i know it's always on the list i would this is my habit too i would go i would look into the whole menu and do you know what i do at the end i will just say okay let's just have dal makhani butter chicken you know those things that i kind of love so i maybe that's the comfort so i would just order that right so but i feel sometimes i feel with the butter chicken uh the taste that i find is sweeter right you will notice that too when you are in the restaurant you will any time you order you you'll notice how you will notice because you are going to make this recipe at home you are going to try it you will then let you will know the flavors after that 
you are going to try to imitate the same flavors when you go to the restaurants, right? So this will, and that is why with my butter chicken, we do not make it sweet. Sweetness also comes when you are also adding um, just uh, the uh, tomatoes, tomatoes sauce. I normally I would use the crushed tomatoes, but since if I'm using this, I'm not using crushed tomatoes. But you would use crushed tomatoes just in case if you don't have sauce. Just make sure you have crushed tomatoes for this recipe. So at this point, uh, if I'm using uh, cashews as a powder, I would add it now. But you know, sometimes people have nut allergies. You have to be careful. You have to be careful for your guests, for the family. Make sure they have no allergies whatsoever. If not, go ahead, use cashews. Uh, just like a handful of it or at least a tablespoon for your four pounds of uh, chicken. So at this point, also because I want heat, I like spicy, right? You know that now. You've been watching. So watch carefully. So see these green chilies, they are really really they they give that hot flavor very nice and spicy and hot flavor at this point i want also the taste of little cilantro now with cilantro it's always love and hate relationship right so if you do if you're not fan of cilantro don't worry don't try to add uh, any other greens instead of it just omit it just to make this part if you don't like it and now also as i said so if my tarka see i'm using my tarka but if this was not pre-made like i didn't make this ahead of time then i would just use one onion chopped onion or crushed onion so right now because i have already made this i don't have to spend too much time cooking this because it's already cooked and that's the good part i saved my time you also have to think guys like make sure um, when we are cooking, you want to have those recipes uh, added to your file of good favorites, which won't take too much time of cooking, right? So always plan ahead. Now, if you made butter chicken now, you should make this much that it, you, you can have leftovers. Freeze it. You don't have to eat all if you can finish it all. For me, yes, I can finish it all, but you can freeze it. Just extra can go in the freezer. So at this point see there's no smell o vision i always say that right hmm just nice so but, so you can smell so i'm just smelling it from your side so here we will add our chicken so i'm using chicken breast but uh, you can also make with the drumsticks you can also make butter chicken with the whole chicken so you can get different pieces in it, right? So this is just two chicken breasts that I'm going to add in. And now we are just going to cook this. Give me one second. So we're going to cook this until it starts to change the color and you know, uh, it just looks kind of that it's time to add sauce. So you have to make sure that whatever I have added so far, because my tarka was cooked, I, it didn't take me too long to add the chicken. But if you're cooking onion, then make sure you give it enough time, okay? So I'm just going to turn the heat on here at high. And at this point, since it's cooking, kasuri methi and whipping cream is something that goes at the end. So salt, I'm not going to add much because I feel it's already in the sauce, so we don't have to add. But I just love my red chili powder in this as well. So turmeric goes in. Turmeric is really good spice if you are, you can add it to anything. It's really uh, antiseptic. It's a good dress. It's a good spice to have it. And then little bit garam masala that's it so these are the spices that's gonna cook along with the chicken a little bit so at this point patience you know because you're gonna have the best butter chicken of the world so little bit patience goes a long way so right now
Hmm. It smells really good. But I know chicken needs to love all the ingredients that I have added in so far. So that it's all cooked. And then also the main part will come later where I'm going to show you. You can actually start to see the oil separation already. But make sure you see some oil separation happening in the pan. If it's not doing that and it's butter chicken so we need to have lots of butter so at that point you this is just a tip secret tip you can add little bit more butter at that point if it does not release oil at all okay so that would be really good part to do in case if you are having any issues with that but otherwise i think we added enough butter what do you say did we okay Maybe if not, then we will just do a touch of but little more butter at the end. Butter is goodness. It's uh, something that makes, you know, and, and especially when you are doing recipes where butter is essential, right? So you have to do it. You have to use it. I cannot say use olive oil in here. Yes, you can sometimes if you are really uh, watching out for your diets right then you can you're always allowed to kind of have little add olive oil and add butter half half right half and half and that's okay too and cream I am using whipping cream but then the low fat idea would be to use 10% uh, cream right make it lighter and you know and I remember with this butter chicken it's actually uh, favorite from the region of Punjab as well and in Punjab Punjab is actually land of milk and dairy right and everybody loves that so butter chicken is always top list it does not matter where you are where you live it is always going to be the famous butter chicken so butter chicken will be incomplete without the sauce so we have to add the sauce or tomatoes so right now chicken is asking me okay it's the next step and it is also the oil separation I need you to see this part so let's open up the lid see how it is it was not like this when we were just leaving it to cook sometime so you can start to see that oil separation in the pan which is good that's what we wanted to see right and at this point because now the oil has separated and all the ingredients are really nicely mixed in it now is the time when we just add the sauce so i'm just going to add the sauce that's in here since it's kind of i liked it because it's low salt normally you don't find um, sauces which have low salt in it so i kind of like i like the taste as well so at this point all this is done so we will just mix it together see how beautiful this looks almost now it's getting there where you can say okay I don't need to go to a restaurant I can make this at home and to complete this meal we are going to serve with the sides of rice I just made some rice as well we will be serving it with naan bread so have some naan with it either way if you have just naan that's okay or just serve it with rice that's fine too these days some people don't even like eating too much of rice in their diet right or naan bread at that point you can also have it with quinoa i have tried it with quinoa it really tastes good and healthy i feel I'm doing something healthy. I know, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say so much butter and then she's talking about being healthy. I'm just giving you the option that in case if you don't eat it, then that's one way to go for it. So right now, we will let this cook for some time because the sauce has to really know all the flavors that were inside our pot here. So we will let this cook for some time about, I would say, uh, leave it for 10 minutes or so so that the flavors are all really nicely infused in it and in the meanwhile I'm also going to make some fries for our poutine now in fries you can just make fresh fries you can buy frozen fries there are so many options right you can use any of the options but right now I am going to take a break 
and when we come back, we are going to finish our butter chicken. You are in the kitchen with Chef Chesty. Welcome back. You're in the kitchen with Chef Chesjeet, and today we made everyone's favorite butter chicken. See, I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to taste it. So um, this is how I did the plating. You can see here for the butter chicken. I have here some cashews that I added, uh, some cilantro to it, kasuri methi dried fenugreek leaves and I just thought we didn't have enough so I just did a nice garnish of uh, whipping cream on top as well. So that is my butter chicken and then I told you I'm going to do something so exciting with our butter chicken today and that is the fusion uh, recipe that I did. So you make one bu butter chicken dish but you're gonna get two out of it. So one dish with two ideas. So this is poutine. So I made some uh, potato fries, fresh potato fries, and then I put my chicken on top, uh, butter chicken on top, add some cream, add some cilantro, and that is my poutine dish. So to serve with it, we have some sides here, which is rice, naan, and also, you know, I have to end everything on a sweet note, right? So then I made this yummy, delicious, delicious, mango cake that I made and then I plated up with three kind of ras malai, kesar ras malai, mango ras malai as well as I did um, the elaichi ras malai flavor but it's heavenly divine I added some pistachios on top and some rose petals okay so this is what we did today I'm hopeful I'm pretty sure you are going to enjoy this recipe now for the mango cake you do have to wait because this is a very special eggless cake recipe that I did. You can go on my website for this and get the recipe. My website is www.kitchenpunjabi.com. But before you go there right now, let's eat. Let's dig in. I think Ryan is going to need some food too. Ryan, you're going to need some later, right? Yeah, okay. So I have to save some for Ryan too. Okay, I will do that because you are all just watching us so Ryan will have his plate later and I'm going to start eating it. So I'll have a little bit of rice and normally uh, also one more thing just to mention when you make your rice or butter chicken or if you have some other sides to serve with it everything goes together. You can just eat it all in one plate as a buffet style and also I'm going to take a piece of naan, yeah, naan bread a little bit. I love naan bread. It's my weakness. Everything, sweets, 
none it is all weakness and then also see I am just getting greedy here so I have to wait one second let me try this one for you looks yum rice is just plain basmati rice You know, it's those morsels, mouthful of deliciousness in your mouth. It just melts. It has that spicy kick to it. And also, it has very smooth sauce that we added on it as well. So, in here, also, I need to try with the naan bread as well. So, when I'm trying with the naan bread, the naan becomes my spoon. So, I eat it here. One for you, one for me. Hmm. You know, I love it. I can finish the bowl, but as I promised, Ryan, I have to save some for him. So, here I'm going to taste also our heavenly. The idea that everybody loves these days and that is poutine as well. So rather than having regular poutine, you will never go to regular poutine. I can tell you after tasting this one. That's my guarantee as a chef. I can say that. Mm -hmm. Potatoes melt in mouth and then the sauce is adding that extra taste to it amazing amazing okay now remember I have to end it on a sweet note so here is my sweet note of the day a delicious eggless mango cake which you have to wait for the recipe of course so here I am tasting it I love it. It's so good. It's delicious. It's like a heavenly, heavenly dessert that's mixed with the cake and with the rasmalais. It's amazing. Just so that I, I, I want to mention as well with the sauces that I, I was mentioning, you can use any sauce. I picked up Sherni sauce and that's what I used in there. But go ahead. You know what? As a teacher, I do feel you should make your own butter chicken sauce too. That is something I want you to do. Uh, try. Any questions, I'm always here for you. Now, also remember, love is the key ingredient in our kitchen. In your kitchen and in my kitchen. So, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here with me. And we will meet next time. You're in the kitchen with Chef Chesty.